Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining me once again on my channel. I want to take a moment to thank those who have taken time to leave their comments. I really appreciate hearing the feedback and especially the encouragement um, to continue on. And uh, today I would like to talk about the race that we're in. Um, the Bible tells us that we are in a race to win the prize, and the prize we know is Jesus. And um, we are instructed to endure to the end. <clears throat> so we go through ups and downs along that track, and sometimes it's very difficult. Other times it's easier, but we know that we need to keep going despite the obstacles and to be faithful to the Lord to run that race. Also, um, for those who are athletes they and runners, they dress in very weightless clothing um, so that there is nothing that would hold them back. They can perform their best without weights. So um, we know the scriptures speak about that with us as well, that we are to run and get rid of those things that would hinder us in the race. And one area the Lord works on in us is a process of pruning. So the word today, it uh, is an encouragement, though the pruning process, of course, is not fun. We know that it is for our benefit. So the um, word for today is titled Winds of Change, because there is a change coming to the body of Christ. And um, part of that is the... Um, pruning process that is taking place. So I hope this word will encourage you as you listen today. A couple of scriptures that um, came to mind, of course, were those regarding the race we're running and a scripture regarding the pruning. Hebrews 12, 1-2. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. John 15, 1-2 I am the true vine, and my father is the gardener. He cuts off every branch in me that bears no fruit, while every branch that does bear fruit he prunes so that it will be even more fruitful. Do not lean on the wisdom of men, says the Lord, for many will mock the hour of the coming of the Son of Man. The remnant those who have been refined by fire are ready for their bridegroom. They are as the wise virgins and have filled their lamps, not as the unwise who are unable to understand the times and whose hearts are seared so that their wickedness increases. These are not able to enter in with the bride. Do not be deceived. Be on guard against those who slumber, for as yeast affects the whole lump, the poison of their teaching leads many to destruction. Do not be as the unwise virgins, but be as the wise who prepared themselves for the bridegroom, that they might be ready to meet him when he comes. Put your trust in the Lord, and when the winds blow, you will stand through the storm. I am increasing the velocity of the wind, says the Lord, and this wind will blow away the dross. As the speed increases, so will the shaking. 
Everything that is not of me will be shaken away. Those who refuse the winds of change will struggle greatly. No one will be able to cling to the old, for the old is being cut off and blown away. Those who willingly let go will enter a fresh stream of the waters of my spirit, says the Lord. They will go down into the waters in death to self and come up into newness of life. The winds of my spirit are increasing and the cutting away of the old is taking place. Limbs are being removed. The cuts are painful, but with time, new life will bud forth. Take up the sword of the spirit and swing it to lop off the branches. For every branch that does not bear fruit must come off. For this is the time of pruning. When all the dead and dry branches are removed, and when the weak growth is pruned back, new growth will shoot forth. Take the sword of the Spirit, says the Lord, and apply it to the entanglements, to those things that dog your feet to keep you back from running the race. I am turning the eyes and hearts of my people outward, says the Lord. No more will they live in their boxes of comfort, for in this day every box will be blown apart. Every hold that confines my people to themselves will be removed, and they will be free to do my will, to go to the lost, the lonely, the poor, to those without hope. I am coming to release my fullness into those who are obedient and they shall go forth and take possession of the land, says the Lord. In this day my people are being stretched beyond their realm of comfort in preparation for the fullness that will give victory over the enemy. I am challenging you, my people, to go to the lost, the poor, the wanderer. I will change your heart and take down your guards and the walls you have put up between yourself and those around you. As these walls come down, you will be set free to walk out in the power of the Lord to take ground back from the enemy. And everywhere your feet tread, you will take the land. Press into me, my beloved. Put your trust in me. Let go of the walls that you have erected between yourself and those who need to hear the gospel message. Let them come down and go forth in the Father's love to a lost and hurting world. This is the acceptable fast chosen of the Father. So this word um, expresses that God's heart for us as his body, his church, to be reaching the lost and putting that into um, alignment with the race we're running that may be a part of the race. This is part of running that race with endurance to being effective to reaching the lost because we know God's heart is that none should perish, that all should come to an understanding of the opportunity of salvation through the blood of Christ. So I hope this word encourages you on this day that though there is a winnowing, um, the winds of change which we are experiencing in the world today and even in the church, that there's a purpose in that. And um, if it's to blow away those entanglements, then it's a good thing. So be encouraged. Um, thank you for listening today. And if there's anyone listening today who doesn't have a relationship with the Lord, with Jesus and the Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit, I welcome you to browse my website, um, click on the tab Salvation Message, and there will be more information for you on how you can make it right with the Lord and be in right relationship with him. 
Have a great day, and we'll see everyone next time. Thank you for listening. Bye for now.